Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the On the Bench podcast. I'm here joined with Mitchville and Austin, and there's some strong runners we have for the track and field events. Yeah. So, uh, what events do you guys run? Uh, I do 401, javelin, and 4x2. Okay. Uh, right now, I'm just throwing Jeff, trying to focus on my own. Okay. And then, uh, what would you say is like your favorite event? Um, well, I haven't got to run the four by one yet, and I won't get to run it until probably next Thursday. But I'm hoping that'll probably be my funnest event. It's four by one. Yeah. What about you? I think mine's the open one. I just like hawking down people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then, uh, you guys had a practice meet. How did you think that one? Uh, for javelin, not that good. For my two hundred, pretty good. One hundred, pretty good. I mean. They're not that fast, but I'm a lot faster than I was last year, so. Yeah. And you're a sophomore, so you still have like room to grow and everything too. Yeah. Uh my jab wasn't pretty wasn't too bad. Uh my open one was terrible. Uh I didn't push as hard as I could. My two hundred was also terrible. <laughs> I had a terrible game plan. Mitch, I don't know what you're doing in the open two. It was I know. It was to it was to jog the first hundred so that I could push. In the last hundred, I don't know how it's like. Work. I know, but it always worked last year. I had a 26 25. That's not good. Okay, <laughs> in my knee, it was. I was always on the fourth eight. Yeah, and then, um, what would you say? Like, are you looking forward to anything in this upcoming year? Like, uh, well, when I run Thursday, um, I'm hoping that we at least. We at least get third in the four by one at least. I'm hoping first, but I don't know who's all going, so so defense is there. Yeah. Um I'm excited for Hajo. I'm gonna go out for that. Uh the open one, the one ten hurdle has been on my mind a lot lately, so thinking about that too, so I might go out for that as well. But that'll just take time to get after it. Yeah. Have you uh, have you tried doing hurdles or anything before? Uh, I've stretched on my own for it. Like I've tried to do jumps with it, but it isn't working so well. But good thing we have a, an expert on it. Yeah. Miss Tatum Levendahl, so she'll train me. She'll get me right. Yeah. And then, uh, do you have any events you'd like to add to? Or? Um, not really. Okay. Doing javelin for the first year, hardest thing I've ever done in my life. About it though. I think I'll break the record. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll break, I'll break I'll, the record. Adrian just broke. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm. I've been procrastinating like all the time about getting 57. So practice. At, are you going farther than him? Uh, no. Nah. Yeah, but no. Nah. <laughs> Far but not. Have you got your running and stuff down? That's what I'm saying. But no. Nah. <laughs> like I can throw as far from just doing a three step while he's doing the the whole runway. So you don't know how to, you don't know how to do the run yet. I do. I'm just scared to do it. <laughs> it's all right. I feel you. I don't know how to do that either. I can do a five step and a three step, but I can't put it all together. So, how big is the run you guys do before? Um, none, because I just do a five step. So I, well, I just cross my legs and throw it. You're supposed to run, cross your legs, then throw it. I just cross my legs. Okay. There's like a runway for you. It's about like almost 30, 20 meters. I think. You mean, you mean the runway? Yeah, the runway. That runway is like 20 feet, not 30 meters. I didn't 30, say 30 meters. 20 meters is, oh shit, meters is a lot. <laughs> I, I meant feet. I meant feet. I'm going to say 20 meters is about how far you throw there. Yeah, I meant feet. <laughs> Came off wrong. But yeah, no, I think it's 20 feet. Uh, it just comes down to like whatever you're good with. So most people will just like run up with it, get into their steps, and then throw. But we're not. We're not really onto that yet. I'm still on my three step as well. I got the rundown, but I don't at the same time, so it's kind of scary. Yeah, so this is both you guys' first year of javelin, right? Yeah. Yep. So, and it can only get better from here. <laughs> yeah, it can only get better from here. Right? We're doing so good. We're actually, yeah, through careful, so it's only getting better from here. That's what I'm saying. Um, do you have a goal for how far you want to be throwing by the end of the year? I want to at least throw, I want to at least be throwing 40 meters. At least 40 meters. I mean, I won't break the school record, but I'm only a sophomore, so if I can build the muscles then and the, learn the technique by senior year, I could be really good. Yeah. yeah. 
70. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm sure I'll get it. It won't be. Uh, it probably won't be that hard, but we'll see. What events are you guys trying to? Um, so I'm actually throwing a disc shot and jab this year. Uh, I'm doing the distance stuff, so I'll probably end up doing the mile and 3200 and possibly the 800. Okay. And then uh, which one of those is your favorite event to be doing? Probably the 1600. It's just, it's the middle distance. So I don't like the 3200, it's too long. Yeah. Okay. I mean, mine, it kind of depends on the day, whatever, if I'm good with that event. But usually, yeah. I just kind of have fun with Jab because you just kind of go out there and sling it. And, you know, it's just fun. Yeah. And then, uh, what, uh, what would you say is your favorite, uh, like, place to compete at? Do you have one or not? I always like, I don't like to drive or anything, but I always like when you go to Excelsior because they always bring out the grill and, um, oh, yeah, I agree. That's yeah, always a good meat. Hamburgers and hot dogs, and there's the thrower's relay. And it's it's a long one, and like it's not a great drive, but like what we do when we're there is definitely super fun. Yeah, and I feel like we'd make the most memories at, at Excelsior. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like last year we filled up somebody's hay dude with turf from the field, and like it was just fun. It was just a bunch of stupid little things that we did. So. Yeah, and then um, you guys had a practice meet not too long ago. How did you guys think that one? I think it went really well. We had, it was, I mean, it's a good starting point for the season, definitely. And everyone can make a lot of improvements, but I think we started off on a pretty good foot. We had a lot of people get points at this time, so it was a good showing for us. Just kind of saying, like, all right, this is what I know I can do right now, so you kind of get yourself in and be like, okay, the next PR is this, and then you kind of work your way up. So. Yeah. And then, uh, do you guys have any, like, goals for yourself? Like, oh, in the mile I want to run this time? Or, uh, Honestly, I'm just looking towards improvement. I don't have like a certain time. I probably should and make that goal, but just improve every time if I can. Okay. You know, it's just kind of like, like, like uh, Coach said, he's looking for like a meter and a half to get a PR. And so, I mean, that's like a big, big PR. But if I can hit that, then, you know, kind of hit his, what his goal for me and then also it's just meet to meet like next time I could do better, do better, do better, even if it's just by a little bit. So Yeah. And then uh your next meet, are there any like any runners you're hoping aren't able to make it there? Like uh anyone on other teams who you're like, oh if they don't make it off place this much or something. I don't really pay attention to my competitors. I mean I'll talk to them before races, I hang out with them. And I like to make friends with everybody, but I don't really, I'm not a very big competitor, so I don't really compete with anyone on yeah. the track. Especially when like meet to meet, it changes who's there. Um, I mean, I feel like typically with Maryville, I feel like we see them a lot at like every meet um, in the blonde tail. But I don't really, I mean, they don't really have a ton of like girl stars, and a lot of them graduated last year. And so it's just kind of feels. So far this season, it just kind of feels like the playing field's kind of open, and, you know, to what it wants to take it. So. Yeah, and then uh, what would you guys say? Who's your best rider first? Who's your best distance runner? Uh, I think we all have different strong suits. So there's a couple of us that are really good at the mile, and then there's a couple that are really good at the 800. And I, don't, I wouldn't say that any of us are better than the others, but we definitely each have different strengths. Okay. Um, who, like, just naming off names, who are all of you guys as distance runners? Um, we have, oh, we have both of the Connors, Elliot, uh, Cruz, Lily, kind of, Gage. not anymore, um, Gage, Leia, oh yeah, me, um, Georgia, she's doing really good this season. I was gonna say that goes for a lot. And there's a couple more, but we have a pretty, pretty good crew this year. Yeah. And then, uh, who are all the like, girl servers? Um, so right now there's like a lot of people trying to explore jazz, um, but we can only have two like per meet, so only two varsity girls. Um, so I'm not gonna name them because I 
But um, me and my friends and and Lily so far have been kind of really cool so far. So we've really only done like shop packs so far this year. Um, I know Lily is a big fan of these things. So. So, what all events do you guys do? Um, I run the 100 meter hurdles. I'm also in the 4 by 100 meter relay. I throw shot put and I'm working on javelin. I throw the shot put and discus. Uh, uh, how do you think you guys is practicing more? Um, for me, I feel like it went pretty well. I ran a pretty nice um, hurdles time for me, per per personally. <laughs> Um, it was a better time than like anything I ran last year. Um, I didn't PR last year, so that was really tough. But I mean, like going into that practice meet and already hitting a better time than I did last year felt pretty good. It feels like a good start. I mean, that's it. Me at the practice meet, it, it was it was definitely different. I was working on rotation. It's new for me, and you know, when you go to a meet and you're throwing rotation in front of people, like for example, one of my throws at disc, I ended up launching it at one of the poles that in the disc ring. It, it's embarrassing, but it was pretty funny. But I am working on rotation, practice me went all right, but it just gives me an outlook on what rotation can do for me. And then um, what events would you say you look forward to the most at like, each meet? Hmm, that's hard. I mean, like, all the ones I do, like, I'm pretty excited for because Hurdles gives me a chance to go and show out for myself. It's only me. Um, I only have to worry about my performance during it. You know, if I do good, go me. If I do bad, like, that's something I work on and I reflect on for myself. Um, 4 by one's really fun because obviously there's like a teamwork aspect to it and there's like the handoffs which can be really fun but you know when I go and throw shot put it's it's also a good time when I can get there and everyone else is there it's just really nice to be with all the other throwers it's a good time it's a little bit more relaxed but I'm still pushing myself to do good okay and then what about the I mean, I'm always looking forward towards shot I mean I'd say that's like my main event but I don't know, just every me, I'm looking to improve on how I throw. Yeah. Do you have any like goals for this season? Like, oh, I want to run so fast in the hurdles, or oh, I want to throw so far? Yeah, so um, this year I'm hoping to actually hit a PR this year in hurdles. Like I said, last year I did not, and that was pretty tough. So I'd like to get over that hump this year and improve, and I think that could do well for me come postseason. I think I might have a better shot. Um, as for shot put, I also was introduced to rotational, so I'm hoping I can hit a nice PR this year. That'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, for me, I think one of my goals, what one of them is obviously to throw further and hit a new PR, but I also think one of my goals is to get better at rotational speed. Yeah. <laughs> And then, um, now, question stage, do you know what rotational spin is? Uh, no, that was what I was about to ask you about. <laughs> oh, okay. So, well, for everyone at home too, because I'm sure some of them probably don't know either, what is rotational spin? Well, you spin. You spin? Yeah. Uh, Thanks, Kevin. You spin the shot the or the this. Oh, is that where they like hold it here and then do a circle sort of thing? Yeah. Okay. Is there a limit to how many circles you do? or? Can you just keep spinning? <laughs> well, <laughs> honestly, I don't even think there's a rule on how much you can spin as long as you get it thrown out there. I think the only rule is is that you can't step out the front of the ring, and it has to come off your neck. Okay. You can spin all you want. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I, I, I don't think there's a limit. You should see how, how much you can spin before they just say okay you're done well see that's something you ask Tata to do she does like pirouettes or whatever it. they call that in a circle i would no i thought i did something <laughs> yeah yeah Riker, what events are you running uh so tomorrow if you're going to be today it is today yeah you're right that would have been tragic <laughs> uh we got the four by one and open one that's all okay and then are you running any? i'm running the four by one open two and four by four. That's so tragic. Yeah. 
So, um, which one of your events are you looking forward to the most? The hundred. Got to get my gear back. Uh, I was sick during the practice meet. You got smoked. I did get smoked. I did get smoked. But get him back for that. I get my gear back. Sorry. Then what about you, Landon? Four hundred one. I want to see where we're really at with uh, with Bird. He's not our uh, best guy, but he can do the job. Okay. So, um, where are your uh, position? Where's your position in the four by one? I'm the anchor in the last one. Uh, so I usually have to chase people down. Uh, but the back speed, we were ahead by like 60 meters, didn't even matter. Could have like walked it. But yeah, that's fair. Nice. I started, I just cooked people. <laughs> Landon gets the lead. Whoever's second leg usually loses it. Or Andy. <laughs> and then Devin kind of catches, catches up. And then I, I try to catch at least two people. Usually words. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, how do you think your practice meet went? Like, you said you were sick earlier. I think I could have done better. Uh, didn't want to run a 200. That sucked. You ever try to run a 200 and not be able to breathe? Don't recommend it, actually. But it, it definitely could have been better. Especially if I wasn't sick. Yeah. And then, what about you, Landon? How did you like it? I had fun the whole day, but the comp was boring. Yeah. For me. Factor. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do it! Do it! Don't flip on that thing. Who do you think are your best runners in the track? Devin. I'm say, it depends on everybody. It depends on the event. So it's like one. Landon, Landon two. Definitely yeah. carries the one, the four by one. Because he just gets so far ahead, and then people are like, well, dang. Devin cooks in the 200. Cruz and Connor are just different than yeah, anything just, longer than they're just four or longer, and they're just gone. Yeah. So it everybody tired. Yeah, it's everybody has their event. So it's not one best runner; it's best runner per category. Okay. Who would you say is probably the best at a finish, the like the shorter sprints? Uh, well, so I have the fastest hundred time. Devin has the fastest two hundred time, and Lynn has the fastest four hundred time. So it's like everybody has a different like thing. Okay. I mean, I've only ran the one I had once. Yeah, rest in peace your hands, right? Yeah, on my ass. <laughs> Never ran that again. So uh, they both run track, and they're some of our best track runners. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. So, Adrian, what would you say is your favorite event to do on track? Favorite event is going to be the 4x8, because I don't run it. It's a really long break. Um, sometimes people like no actually girls 300 meter hurdles that has the most falls I think I've ever seen in my entire life that's my favorite event nice. my favorite events Mark's just paid in though it's gotta be javelin nobody yells at me for being slow <laughs> just yell at you for throwing it out of bounds yeah they don't even yell at me like get it out of bounds <laughs> they're encouraging I would say mine to participate in is probably the two the open two I mean it's just it's just you versus seven other people, you know, and you get a curve and a straight, but without the long distance, I can't do long distance. Yeah. And then uh, the group before we had, uh, they said that you were our best 200. Is that you? That's probably my strongest uh, event. That's pretty much all I got in the tank. Okay. And then what's uh, your strongest event? Would it be? Probably javelin. I have the school record. So. Oh, that's nice. pretty cool. Yeah. Practice, practice me. It does count in the MEC record book. Yeah. So hopefully yeah. I can beat it today, but I don't know. It's really windy out, so. Yeah. Hopefully it dies down a bit for you. Yeah, or maybe it like picks up with my throw and just takes it. Yeah. But then that would happen for other people, though. No, only for mine. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Hopefully. Yeah. Theoretically. No, just hopefully. <laughs> And then uh, both of you run the four by one, right? Yeah. Yeah. What's your? Uh, how do you like running the four by one? So, um, I'm the third leg, so I'm on a curve, and 
for the 200, I start off on a curve, so I'd probably say the curve is my strongest. Um, I get the baton from yours truly over there, actually. Um, <laughs> running third ain't that bad, to be honest. A lot of other people don't know how to run a curve, so. I run the second leg sometimes. I'm an alternate right now, but Austin's out. I mean, I mean he's out. And uh, I don't know. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. I like running a little bit with wind because I'm a little bit of a heavier set guy. So it help, I feel like it gives me a little bit of an advantage running against a lot of lighter weight people. Yeah. Mine, I'm, uh, you guys had a practice meet last week. How yeah. did you guys think it went? Um, we definitely seen quite a bit of competition, to be honest. Even though there's only four schools there, uh, Maryville's probably going to be um, a top dog this year. I'd say for running events. I thought the meet went good. I think it showed us a lot. I think it's going to help out the team in some areas that have been weak, like um, some relay spots. And I think it showed us, it just showed us a lot of good, lots to improve on. Okay. And then your meet today, uh, where is it at? Again? Smithville. We are in Smithville on Tornado Watch. So. On tornado watch. Maybe I throw it and get sucked yeah. up by a tornado. Be watching your guys' yards. A, a javelin might come through your window. <laughs> it might hit your dog. You never know. Or maybe your nosy neighbor. Maybe your nosy neighbor's dog. <laughs> That's all we got. That's for Megan. Is that any more if you guys haven't seen Megan, <laughs> Megan kills the dog. <laughs> she walks into the house and she kills the dog. And then she kills the neighbor lady with like a power hose. Can I see? Can I say that? Can yeah, you? sure. Okay. <laughs> well, I think we got to keep that part in. All right. <laughs> We're not getting monetized. <laughs> oh no, our two viewers. What make sure to now? use code. Um, <laughs> make sure to use code OTB for uh, Pampered Chef twenty percent discount. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much it for you guys. Thanks for joining me and thanks for having us. All right, thank you. Yeah.